All right, what is going on, everyone? And welcome back to more Black Desert. So today, we are going to be doing some casual bartering and sailing. It's a little bit different from what we've normally been doing. But uh, today, we actually have a nice money run. So that's basically like when we go out to Margoria and get 150 mil. But I think this might be a little bit... Um, because we have to get the materials to prepare prepare for that so let me see we need six of these and then we're gonna have to turn that into 12 of these so basically we're going down with uh two balance stones and i think that's what we have in our inventory so we're just gonna do some bartering today pretty chill nothing uh wild but yeah maybe a little bit later or in the next part episode we will We will be going out into the ocean. That's always a fun one to do every now and then. But yeah, so how are you guys enjoying the whole reboot thingy lately? Um, I was thinking about it, actually. I was thinking about doing a small series of going over basically the patch notes for every class and... Um, breaking it down a little bit just because uh some people like learn better visually versus uh just reading the patch notes and um yeah the, so the ones that i've been interested in are in nova and guardian a little bit of uh warrior and striker as well but it's not the highest priority So that'll probably be tomorrow's video, and uh, we'll do something, we'll see what it's all about. Maybe we'll actually do that a little bit later, but what is this island? Oh, Prodi Cave. Got it. So I guess while we're sailing, what we can do is check out the marketplace and see what's like a... Every now and then while I barter, I just look at the market because, uh, let's be real, sailing is not exactly the most entertaining thing. So just have it on Autopath and browse stuff. Oh my, this has gone down in price. Pen Butcher at 10.6. Ugh. I, you know, I actually thought about making one of these one day, but I was like, eh. Let's check out all the other Monos tools. This is a pen riding crop. Do they have pen gatherers for sale? I'm pretty sure there's still like a lot of orders. Yeah. I thought about going for that one day, but I was like, eh, don't care. Green stone? Every time I see these sold, they're always at tet level. They're never at like <laughs> a non expensive one. Yeah, they're all tet. I also thought about getting a Monos Close. I used to have a Tet and then I sold it because I just needed the money back then. Uh, let's see. Tanning Knife. Oof. Do I still have a Tanning Knife? I'm pretty sure I sold it, to be honest. I have Butcher. Lumber. I know I have some of these in there, but I don't want It doesn't show you.
Oh yeah, what were our login rewards? Huh, so today we had a fine accessory box. Yesterday you could watch, or you can watch yesterday's video and watch us um, fail another attempt at a tier 9 horse. We're going into the sketchy fail stack area where I'm starting to like... If I hit it then, it might just be breaking even, but it's not great. Luckily, going for a tier 9 horse is, in 2021 or 2022, is like, if you want one specifically, you should really just go buy the one from the market that you want. Chances are it's going to actually be cheaper. So tomorrow we get a Shikatu box. Tomorrow we're getting 25 memory fragments or uh, hearts and sharps. Oh, for the next three days, we're going to get memory fragments. Good stuff. All right. Tamer. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how to play Tamer. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's click buttons. Cloud stomping. Just get all the skills you don't have. If anyone still plays Tamer in 2021, would love to know what's even good these days shift right mouse button seems easy to do right mouse button that seems easy to do you know i always hate it it's not even just this class but like just all classes when it says space after certain attacks but it doesn't tell you which attacks you can use space after like Come on, dude, just put it in the tooltip. Tell me which skills I can use this ability after. That just ate a chunk of my points. spending points to be honest uh, turn Accessory box and a T. Hit me with a Tungrad earring or an ogre ring specifically. Okay, well, it's a one in three that I don't get what I want, and we got it. Yeah, there's zero shot. I'm selling a late in for 50 mil. I'm good. I'll hold on to it. All right, let's see. What do we need? Um, so if I remember correctly, for our barter later, we need purple crystals, 
Marine Knight Spears, Lava, uh, Shells, and Gold Chests. So we got the Shells here. So we need Gold, gold Chests, I think we have. We got Purple Crystals. We need more Spears. We got the Lava. She Shells are down. And a Gold Chest. So we just need... These thingies, which we're gonna have to come back for that, I believe. Unless we have, we don't actually need to get all of them. We just, yeah, four is good enough. It'll give us eight of these. Let me see. Now that Leightons and Ogres have dropped in price a little bit. One point five billion for a try at a shot at Tet, which is thirty percent. And then if that goes I think after tax is like five point eight billion after tax. Honestly, if I got a Tet, I would just slam it. I would just YOLO slam it for Pen. <laughs> like, yeah, the money would be nice, but it doesn't bring me anywhere. And then, if I got a Pen... You know, honestly, if I got a Pen Leighton... <laughs> it's gonna sound stupid and lighting money on fire. But I would actually sell the Ogre. I would literally remove this Moonlit Cup thingy. Sell this Ogre and use the Layton. Why? Because my name is on it. So, okay, let me... They're probably the same price, but I wanna check. Okay, like 74 billion for a pen, Layton. Ogre is... Okay, maybe not. Like, if I got a pen Layton, I'd sell the pen Layton. Like... Yeah. Wait, isn't there an order at like 73 for the late end when you can just buy it? What the heck? Hold up. Let me check. Oh, no. Never mind. Like, someone does an order for 69.5, which is basically 70. If you're gonna just pay 70 bill for Pen Ogre, just, just pay 72 can clearly make money if you know what you're doing. Oh god. Our rift bosses are both Ronin and Griffin, both in the Grana area. That is unfortunate. Oh yeah, let's go roll our dice while we're at it. <laughs> So I usually always pick the 4 to 6 just because I want to get the board done and then the reason why is every time you get a board done you get this thingy and this is pretty valuable. Oh my god. Whereas after that, it's, I don't know, like you just want to get the board done. These rolls are rigged. There's no shot they're even. Wow, okay. 30 stack. as a monster towards my season quest. Good to know. <laughs> Can't. Like, I don't even know why I have base mono. So you're probably, it's better to go, like, probably duo. Yeah, it's probably better to go, like, duo Logia over base monos. As 
much as I'd love to just gamble and light a try Layton on fire for 1.5 billion, something tells me I shouldn't. <laughs> Even if I hit Ted, would I be happy with that 30%? Hey, one of my guildies just did a try. Honestly, I'm sort of thinking, like, I would use my 200 stack on pen, obviously, but would I be happy with that? If if I were to sell it, it's like, what, I have 14% tax? Um, I would also use the shimmering thingy, so it's basically 9 or 10% tax after, or from the sell price. So even if I sold it for 74 I'd be losing like 10 billion. Or no, 7 billion, which is a lot. Hey, we made it back. Oof, somebody just hit Tet and immediately failed Ben. I feel like that would be me if I were to do that. So we're not going to do that. Yeah, if I'm gonna enhance an accessory, it's gonna be something I want. Which, actually, so every day I've been doing the, like, pen accessory quest. And I've only been doing the life skill one that's like, uh, one burning thing instead of two. So, basically, once I get, like, a pen, I'd probably get, like, a pen crescent. Though I do believe pen narc is probably better. Um, so then with this tongue grad, I'm still not sure what I'd want to do with it. Whether I want to just sell it or... I don't know. I guess it depends how close I am to actually buying something straight up by the time I get to that point. Central market is not available. Dude, this game has been like so wonky lately. I bet you this is one person selling all three of those. There's zero shot. Like, just sell them back to back. Well, actually, I don't know. This one might be a little bit different. That's kind of weird. Nine billion for that. Yeah, enhancing ogres are not the way to go. I should actually tag a character before the event ends so I could uh play around with um I don't know, guardian or something and actually see what a 300 AP Guardian does compared to DK. Probably just deletes people. You know, I'm actually kind of curious as well what a 300... <laughs> 300 AP like Striker will do to people. Do I just have to press like Shift Q, Shift F, and things die? That would be fun. Maybe we'll try it out. Yeah. I'd probably have to tag a DR thing class, so probably... Three seventy six suck Nova. Oh. Interesting. 
interesting. But before the event ends, I definitely have to tag a character because uh, it's like two billion silver. What is the chance to um, get a pen accessory on a 200 stack? It's probably like nine or 10 percent in two minutes I think a boss is spawning and it's Sarka I believe maybe we'll go do that real quick Else is under volatile prices. I really, I'm gonna be honest with you, red coral earrings, I don't think anyone should buy these. Like, I don't care if it's min price, it's a, it's a dead end upgrade. Like, yeah, you'll do fine for a while. But eventually you'll feel like, yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade my gear, right? So, look, this is 12 and 34. This is the same as a Tet Dawn earring. And 8 billion. That's good. Now, if we look at the Dawn earring, this is the same. And it's like double the price, so I understand why people buy red corals. However, uh, people are, like going to have to upgrade it eventually, right? So eventually you're going to go for a pendant earring. And you can't do that with a red coral. So I just feel like you should buy the Tet Dawn and then when you feel like upgrading you either click it or something. But I don't know. You could just buy the red coral and then save up money. That's also an option. But I still think uh, I don't know. The, the cost to click later on is worth a lot. Uh, okay, so we have a regular Karanda and the Nightmare Zarka. I'm not sure which one dies first. Pretty sure. Let me ask my guild. Actually, yeah, I'll go back and then we'll swap to Zarka first. And then, no, actually, I don't know. It's a hard decision. I should just pick one. Oh god, I don't think I have my skills on the other characters. Ever since the reboot, they like rechanged everything, and I'm not sure <laughs> if I put the skills back in. Uh oh. Also, my add-ons got deleted as well. That's not good either. I feel like Turo belts are, like, they're not bad, but I don't think they're worth, like, 20 billion or whatever the going price is now, like, 19 billion. 
Yeah. They announced that they're going to come out with a new belt soon with the ice region coming out in a few months, I think. And, uh... Yeah, so I feel like Turo's are going to go out of style. Like, they're not bad. Let me just swap to a boss and see which one... I think Zarka should die first, to be honest. Because that uh, nightmarish one gives some pretty decent money. You get about like 20 mil at very worst, I think, roughly. Man, these are such nice load screens. I don't know how to play. Do I have skills? Oh my god, that has like full health. Hold up. Makes more sense. Karando is the base one, so. I should probably put add ons on my lawn. I don't even know how to play lawn. I'm... People say lawn is easy. Someone's just gotta tell me like the four buttons I need to <laughs> four buttons I need to press to play long. Oh that's carried. I came in for the last like two percent and got it. Hit me with the Ted Ogre real quick. I don't deserve that. I came in last minute. <sighs> well, that's like uh, 30 minutes of grinding at works. Easy. I don't deserve that. Tier 3 pets are here. Tier 5 pets win. Oh, we got a 6. What does that give? Oh. Just kidding. Probably put in add ons on this character as well. So angry, dude.
You know, I always, I like the idea of the nightmarish, like the, like, awakened bosses, I guess you can say. But man, there's a reason why no one brings their main to it. Because the reward RNG is so bad. Like, makes zero sense. So, in theory, the way it works is, like, the more damage you do, you get put into a higher bracket, and that gives you better loot, right? And even if you are probably in the, like, the top 1%, the chances of you getting a like the Zarka box or any boss box you you were going for is still low to the point where someone random like me, what just happened to Karanda, I go in, hit the boss for like three percent, not even. So yeah, this and plus the awakened bosses are a little bit more. How do you cancel out of anything? Are you locked in your skills if you are? As a wizard, do you get, like, if you start casting, how do you cancel out? Or do you just get locked into it? watch streamers play wizard and witch they're like really good at it and they just like it looks cool and then when i try it it's like yeah no you're bad just don't do that <laughs> Even other wizard witch mains are like, yeah, this class is boring, but it's good. That's why it's meta. Well, no, like, when I played it on season, like, this was my season character. I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was fun. I don't know why, uh... Well, I guess I know, because it's, like, it's a slow base class. You just big AoEs and do big damage. But that's it. There's no, like... Did I really just use like all my pots already? Oh my god. Gotta restock on health potions. That the strat for witches, you just hold the uh, magic arrow down and uh, lightning. Oh my god, why, why is it targeting me? Okay, one thing I really actually need to learn is how to like get out of animations quickly. Like what are the animation cancel skills and how do you do that? I learned that. I think it's pretty straightforward for me. This is like, eh, you can get more obviously, but if you just fresh off season, 
and then you had like full pen, you're what, like 290 DP or something like that? 300 DP, I think. No, actually, it'd be uh, 5, 8, 13, 23. Yeah, you'd be like 300 something. Even then, that still kind of hurts. Like 300 is not enough for us. Uh, Yo, I don't deserve that. We got like ultra carried on bosses today. hours worth of grinding from two bosses honestly the reason why I still even go to these bosses these days is mostly just for the uh, like what are those aura thingies hold up let me see what character uses a Zark or what character would sell the Zarka Oh my god, DK is such a dead class. Feels bad. Might open it on the Zerker. Could open it on the Warrior. Shy is even. I'm pretty sure if you're a shy, you just go black star because you're like shy grinding is actually really good, believe it or not. So then, like, if you're doing grinding, you obviously want black star. Yep, I'm pretty sure Warrior's the choice to open the box on. Let me go transport that. And we got a Pry Eye of the Ruins. My enhancing RNG has been so bad lately, like I'm legit scared to enhance. <laughs> Until tomorrow, anyway. But I don't know, the base ones are actually like stupid expensive. Like if bases weren't 60 mil each, I'd probably just swing for it, but because they are. Dude. I thought I was doing good using my loot scrolls when I was going for my infinite potion. But then they just give you so many of them to the point where it's like, I can't, I can't use them fast enough. What a problem to have, I know.
But no, I wish you could, like, I know they changed the loot scrolls so you could actually just turn it on and off, but I wish you can just sell loot scrolls. So, here's the thing. With, like, loot scrolls, let's say you make an extra 200 mil an hour, obviously you would not buy a loot scroll just to break even. So, I don't know, even if you could sell it for, like, 25%, so, like, each loot scroll is, like, 50 mil, People who grind a lot, it's profitable for you. And people who don't grind, like me, would just... Well, it's not that I don't grind. I just I don't grind a lot. What is this? This is an event. Oh, do you have to go fishing for these? What in the world? Oh, you... Ice fishing? Oh, yeah, I remember reading down the patch notes. Right. Ice fishing. That's the thing. I've been actually just like lazy gathering lately. I don't, I don't really sell these. I just kind of use them. Ooh, money. Oof. Even after taxes, that's kind of a not a lot. So basically, this box you can get either a base Zarka all the way up to a Tet Zarka. How many people have gotten a Tet Zarka? Probably zero, since it came out. Like, you can sort of see it, too. It's like, do you see the, like, Pride Duo try? Yeah. We got a base. Are we surprised? No, we're not. Holy, dude. All right, well, anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and next time uh, we'll probably do some Nova patch notes or more bartering in the ocean. Or actually, we'll do both. Who knows? Anyway, see you guys in a bit.